Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is your boy, D Crypto Siege, with another day in the life and a crazy life that is cryptocurrency. What is good, guys? I wanted to hop on here real quick, do a video, um, just briefly talking about um, the the uh, the price of XRP and um, how fast or quickly or how slowly um, something's going to happen in terms of the price. And uh, I listened to uh, DM Logic uh, earlier today, and he made this video, and um, it was it was interesting. I, I mean, I like DM. I think he's smart. I think he's a smart guy. But he uh, he he had made a couple of points in this video about you know overnight prices. Um, um, Shane Ellis theory, maybe even Ichiro, even though he didn't mention Ichiro. Uh, but he had he had in, in essence had called out some people. Some content creators who, you know, who, 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 you know, did videos on maybe Shane Ellis's theory, or did video on Ichiro, Ichiro's theory, or did some videos on how, you know, perhaps he didn't use the words price set, but let's face it, if it said thirty cents and it goes to ten dollars or twenty dollars or forty dollars, there's a set, there's a price set evaluation of some sort that takes place. He mentioned the Comex five eighty nine rule. And and uh, and um, how that how anything that was he used the words overnight price was you know not feasible almost lunacy and he kept pointing to Galgatron who he believed was a a, a rational voice and I like Galgatron I believe he's a smart guy just from reading some of his stuff but he believed that Galgatron was a more of a smart voice a rational voice. And I, I thought it interesting because he used this phrase, DM Logic, used this phrase, you know, there are some rational uh, people on, uh, rational smart people on on Twitter. And I almost, like, I, I just, I, I, got, I got a little tickle out of that because my experiences with Twitter is the vast majority of people, uh, especially in the digital asset space, um, I'm not sure if rational is the word that we would want to use and or smart, rational and or smart. But Galvatron is a very smart guy uh, and a very sharp guy. And uh, I think rational is is, is all about perspective. Um, I think overnight and this, this whole notion of overnight or, you know, that XRP is going to progressively get to a point because that gives us a chance to buy. I'm not sure our, that I buy that argument, um, I would say uh, two things. Number one, XRP has been out for a while now, right? <laughs> so it's been out for a while now. So uh, I don't know, it's, it's 2013, for example, to 2019. Is that a while? Is that is that progressively a while? Is that is that something that we could say has been around for a while and has progressed in its price? Like for me, I think that's already happened. I think this progression in the price of XRP giving us, quote unquote, a chance, an opportunity for us to fill our bags has already happened. I, like that's, that has already happened. I mean, six, six years is six years. Five, five and a half years is five and a half years. Like that's already happened. And I think what's, you know, uh, what I think is missing from DM's logic, uh, interesting enough, or DM's thought process, DM logic's thought process on that video, is that the, the overall, the overall use for XRP is not in some utility uh, uh, or an exchange. The overall, the number one value for XRP is it solves a liquidity problem. Now, if the liquidity challenge was coming, like, you know, it, there's no challenge, it's, you know, it's just kind of there, and then, you know, we ex project 10 years from now there's going to be a major crisis, then I get that. But the fact of the matter, the matter is, there is a global economic crisis right now. And the overarching reason for that is a lack of liquidity. So it's not something that's projected to happen. The lack of liquidity is here. And XRP is the answer. 
for that lack of liquidity. And the powers that be know it. And it's not going to be another five to ten years before, you know, before Christine Lagarde or Brad Garlinghouse or some proponents of XRP say, yeah, yeah, we've proven our use case. Yep, look. Look, it's been ten years. We've proven it. That's why it's a thousand dollars now. Yeah, me personally, I seriously doubt that. I believe that that argument, those questions, you know, and so Christine Lagarde, so, you know, excuse me, Mr. Lagarde, so what is the rationale behind a $500, $500 XRP in 2021? For example, for example, and I, and I believe the, the, the overarching answer is, well, there are over 200 institutions or entities using XRP. And you like, like, so when she's on CNBC or Money Trader or, or she's, you know, at some conference somewhere or some public forum and being interviewed and being asked these questions, that's going to be the answer. And, but the difference is what I think is missing from DM Logic's thought process is those, those are in place. You know, they're not at, you know, they're not at, at number 50 and about to meet with number 51 next week. Those 200, 200 plus companies are already on the network. They're just not showing the volume on the ledger. So there will be a flip of the switch. And it may be 20 at a time. It may be 50 at a time. It may be 100 at a time. But it's going to happen. So my and my other argument is, what is overnight? Like, what is overnight when it comes to uh, uh, an, X, an XRP going from forty three cents to ten dollars? What's overnight? What are you comparing that to? What are you comparing that to? Right? Because you know, when I, the last XRP low bump that happened in a matter of weeks. The, you know, Warren Buffett would say that that's overnight. That was an overnight phenomenon. That's what Warren Buffett would say. That's what, uh, uh, you know, people in a traditional finance market would say. That's what Ray, da Ray Dalio would say. That was an overnight thing. From 20 cents to $3 and change in a matter of weeks. That's overnight. So this idea or this notion that something can't happen with the XRP, the XRP price overnight, that's about perspective. Because as compared to the traditional financial markets, you know, it's all overnight. <laughs> you know, whether it's six hours, six days, six weeks, or six months. In comparison, it's all overnight. It's all overnight, you know. So I would argue that you know an overnight price is relative, right? To a traditional market, stock market, <laughs> you know, when you look at the change in gains and, and the opportunity the percentage gains uh, to be had as compared to traditional markets, it's all overnight. So I would say, yeah, so, you know, a price from 43 cents to $10 or 43 cents to $3, to me, it's that's all overnight, right? It's all overnight when you think about that. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to, I would love to hear what you guys think about that. Do you, you know, do you, do you think that there, from today going forward, there's going to be an over a gradual increase in XRP for the next three years. For example, gradual for the next three years. You know, like I, it's, it's, some people are so afraid to do, to. I don't know if I don't want to use the word go out on a limb. You know, like like a hundred dollar XRP for 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 XRP bag holders is a scary thought like you know like they like they can't believe like a hundred dollars 
it's 43 cents. Like it's just something, there's something missing there. And I, and I don't quite, I don't quite get it. So guys, tell me, what do you think? Do you think that it's going to be a gradual price in XRP over the next three years? A gradual price increase over the next three years? Or do you think that it's going to be quote unquote, uh, a quote unquote overnight thing? And, and what's overnight for you? Because for me, the digital asset space in itself is an overnight phenomenon. <laughs> like, you, you know what I'm saying? To me, as compared to the traditional financial market, you know, people getting, you know, people getting involved in the digital asset space in 2012, 2013. 2000, by, by 2017, multi, multi millionaires. How, that's four years at tops. How was that not overnight? Four years? How was that tens of millions of dollars in four years? You, are you telling me that's not overnight? I don't know, DM. I don't know. I think it's all I think it's all overnight success. I think it's all overnight. I think this whole space that we're in in comparison is overnight. I think that the vast majority of people will work 30 to 40 years of their life and never have an opportunity like they have in the digital asset space in 2 years, in 3 years, in 4 years, in 5 years. So I would ask you, what are you comparing? Where are you comparing it to, my friend? And and um, I just think that there's a, something missing there because this, there is going to be a flipping of the switch, and I can I can see it as, as sure as I'm I can see the road ahead of me. Christine Lagarde and Brad Garlinghouse and whoever else they might have, and I could just see the question. Well, how do you how do you? Uh, and I could see it happening next year, 2021. So how do you how do you rationalize the you know a, a five hundred dollar XRP, Mister Brad Garlinghouse? How how do you justify that price? And, and, and here's the other thing too: it won't be just Brad, and it won't just be Christine Lagarde. It's going to be people from the Nasdaq. They're going to be asked that question. It's going to because right they got a little XRP index going on. It's going to be people from um, back back. And the New York Stock Exchange is going to be answering those questions. I could, I can, I can just see it, and I can hear the question being asked. <laughs> just as sure as I'm sitting in this car driving down this road. Well, how do you justify that? How do you rationalize that? How do you, how do you equate this value, Mr. Nasdaq Index, Mr. Nasdaq XRP Index, or Mrs. Nasdaq XRP Index? How do you come up with that price? Why do you think this whole CME group thing is coming out? Like, like this whole special executive report thing, right? That just happened to get into uh, the hands of uh, an XRP community member. Like, come on. Like, come on. Yeah. I can see it happening. It's just sure, again, as I'm sitting here. So for me, it's all overnight. You know, for me, it's all overnight. <laughs> so anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Do you think this price increase is going to happen overnight, quote unquote? Or do you think it's going to be a gradual increase over time? This price increase, whatever it might be, 40 cents to $10. Is that going to be gradually done over the next three years? You know, 43 cents to $50. Is that going to be gradual increase? So, so year three, it'll hit $50, gradual increase. What do you guys think? I would love to hear what you think in the comments. Interesting. Very, very interesting thing. So anyway, guys, listen, thanks for hopping on. I appreciate it so much that you take the time to check out these videos. Never, ever forget, guys, old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know. The battle for you has already been fought. And the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.